Welcome back. And today, as I told you earlier, we are going to talk about the film, the entrepreneurship in the film industry. Kenya has produced or been a location of the film since the early of 90, 90s, rather than the featured films in with fiction contact. Kenya has mostly pro produced documentary films, often, in, often relating the conditions of the people and poverty in the main cities of Kenya. But today we are going to talk about the how to make money from your talent in this film industry. And today I'm joined by Naftel Mugire. Yes. Yeah, and also Daisy Mbai. Nafta Mugire is a, a film a film entrepreneur and also an animation and motion graphics designer. Sure. And also Daisy Mbai is a spatial effect artist. Yeah. Welcome. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Yeah, and so yeah. I will start with you, Daisy. Yep. Um, you know the spatial effects artistry is quite young. Sure. But it is gaining popularity here in Kenya. Yeah. So um, a little bit tell us about your journey in doing the special effects. Is that, um, and how did you end up here? Yes. Uh, to be frank at first, I'm a fan of movies since my childhood. Mm -hmm. And they always fascinated me to see the fake wounds. Sometimes before I thought it was original wounds, mm -hmm. like it was really happening. Wow. But as I grew up, I went on researching more. I thank my parents. They have helped me in that journey a lot also. Mm -hmm. They introduced me a lot to mm -hmm. knowing what was really happening. Mm -hmm. And later when I came to learn about the real artistic in it mm -hmm. and the art in it, uh -huh. so I got interested in it. Interesting. So I did some little bit of film mm -hmm. and now understood the fact that special effect is a base mm -hmm. and it's a stand on its own. Mm -hmm. And like makeup, yeah, is yeah, also on yeah. it, yeah. but special effect is it's on its own, something great, and it's yeah. something that can make you go far. Mm -hmm. So I took my time, I went to school, mm -hmm. I started the whole makeup first, mm -hmm. then I went and specialized on special mm -hmm. effect. Wow. Yeah, so wow, that is how nice. my journey was, uh -huh. and it was swift, mm -hmm. I can say that. And how long have you done in this, um, the special effects makeup uh, Probably, I may say now, get into three years. Wow. Yeah. That's quite a big long time. Yeah. And I will ask to Naftel, how did you get also to you in this industry and what motivated you to dive into the motion and graphic industry? And first of all, um, you can tell our viewer what is animation and motion graphics because we can assume that everyone so knows. The same. Yeah. Mm. You know, animation is very broad. As okay. You have, as you have said, Mm -hmm. We have two types of, we have like three types of animation. We mm -hmm. have 2D animation, 3D and motion graphics. Mm -hmm. And when you're saying 3D, we mean you see that thing in three dimensions. Mm -hmm. you, you see it all around. Yeah. But when you're talking about 2D animation, you only see it in two dimensions. Okay. And uh, let's say, let's talk of um, the first, first early Kenyan mm -hmm. films or other animations were done in 2D. Mm -hmm. And then when fiber came in, that's everything that many people yeah. know. That's yeah. now done in 3D. In 3D and most of the adverts that you see that are done with Safaricom, mm -hmm. most of them are done in motion graphics. Mm -hmm. Motion graphics is whereby you admit text. Mm -hmm. Text, to, you give life to text. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, yeah. awesome. And what motivated you to get into this industry? When, you know, me, I started as a DJ first, mm -hmm. and then went to school. That's did interesting. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay. Yeah, I started as a DJ, went mm -hmm. to school, did mass communication. Mm -hmm. After mass communication, diverted to film mm -hmm. production, and later went back to school to do animation. Mm -hmm. The reason why I did animation is because at that time, there were no people doing animation. Mm -hmm. And it was an open mass for anybody who can jungle in and step in and do something different. Mm -hmm. Because people used to say we can only see the fiber advert, that's the only thing that is animated in Kenya. Yeah. So I had to come in, cut that gap and produce other things that people can look at. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. You've said that long time ago um, um, there were not many people who were doing in, the, uh, in this animation and motion graphics uh, industry. Yes. And for now, does it pay for you as animation and motion graphics producer to invest in the film industry? Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. I can tell you for a fact, for one second, we can mm -hmm. charge as low at 5,000 shillings per second. Mm -hmm. So that's, if you wow. give me an advert of 50 seconds, mm -hmm. or 60, adverts are done in 15, okay. uh, 30, 45, mm -hmm. 60. So okay. you can see how much we can make in that gap if mm -hmm. you are charging 5,000 per second. Yeah. So animation sure. is really paying. Mm -hmm. It's something that people should look at mm -hmm. because it's very broad. Mm 
Mm-hmm. It's like a market whereby you are selling onions or tomatoes. Yeah. There is no way you can tell me, Mimi Nikona, what wangu wakuzia. So it's a very broad market uh-huh. that people should go into it and try to be very creative and produce new things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow, wow, that's nice. And you, for you, Daisy, yeah. um, you know the film industry is very, very big. And it's and broad. Yeah, it's broad. And yeah. why do people think and assume that ladies will tend just to do the, uh, the, the eyebrows makeup rather than you automatically want to work on eyebrows? Why do people mostly think of that? I think... To start off saying is we passed that era. Mm-hmm. People mm-hmm. should just see uh, women and men, there's no difference in art. Mm-hmm. Art is something that you're born in with. Mm-hmm. I can be a very good visual artist mm-hmm. and doesn't mean I have to be a man. Mm-hmm. No, sure. that is art in me, the art in me. Sure. So not necessarily every woman has to do their eyebrows. Frankly speaking, mm-hmm. I cannot sit down and do my eyebrows myself. Oh, wow. Because... Oh. I've done the whole makeup thing, uh-huh. but it yes. is not there. Yeah, yeah. My art yes. is on the special uh, yeah, effect. Yeah. Yes, I can do them, it. but I can take like five hours no if I get that perfect <laughs> thing. Yeah, yeah. But that you want. when it comes to the special effect, mm-hmm. I can jungle my shortest time on it. Mm-hmm. So let us take that mind off. Mm-hmm. That ladies and art, ladies are so perfect. We have the perfect eye, yeah, if sure. I can say that. Sure. We have the perfect eye on art. Mm-hmm. And... Colors, who doesn't know ladies yeah, with colors? Yeah, yeah. And you know, when it comes to the special effect, mm-hmm. there's that touch, there's mm-hmm. that look, and mm-hmm. there's that feel. Feel that once. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So if That's ladies good. venture in it, mm-hmm. it it's like attaching to them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's nice. Um, mm-hmm. I'm the rather the fiction side of the makeup. The makeup, yeah. Wow, that's great. And it's not about the eyelashes uh-huh. and all. Mm-hmm. No, there's more about it. Okay, that's nice. And also, as the producer um, tries to drop the some of the works that you've done, what are your favorite signatures that look, and how does it set you apart from makeup from other special makeup artists? Mm, I can say. My choice of the you say my choice my choice of set mm-hmm. what I use because mm-hmm. frankly in Kenya getting the equipment is a little bit expensive yeah, yeah. but being creative is not expensive mm-hmm. yes yeah. so I can say my signature is the what I use mm-hmm. to make these special effects mm-hmm. yeah because mm-hmm. I literally make them myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. That's great. And yeah. also, as the as the director tends to 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 put the makeups that you've done, yeah. and which are your big projects that you've done? You know, um, because this it's it's a big <laughs> film industry. Like this yeah. one, you can see such. Oh my God! I, actually, I got frightened at these sites. <laughs> yeah, yeah that just uh, said. scary. Those are just. And actually, let me talk about this a little bit. That's yeah. a man. Yeah. yeah. Um, what creative did you use <laughs> that? <laughs> it was just thinking of something crazy. Mm-hmm. Just, as I said, it's about what can you create personally? Mm-hmm. What do you think? Mm-hmm. What yeah, do you personally yes. want to achieve at the end of the day? Because mm-hmm. that time there is an institution we are going for a showcase. Mm-hmm. So we had to show. I was going to show up on students on how to just mm-hmm. think out of the box what? and get your own thing out. Wow, yep. wow that's great. That's mm-hmm. very, very good. Um, let me go back to you, Naftal. Yes. You know, in the film entrepreneur, it's very, very broad. Sure. And what does it take to be a film entrepreneur here in Kenya? You know, at first, you, you must stand out. Mm-hmm. You must create something that is on top notch. Mm-hmm. Because like, people, people tend to say that film is not paying. Um, a, a little bit of money is gotten from it. Which is not no, true. Which, which is, is not true. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because uh, the first thing is what the clients, if you really give out what the client needs, mm-hmm. you, you're there. Because mm-hmm. most of the clients that I can tell you in film industry don't know what they want. Mm-hmm. Let me talk to those who want to do advertisement because we, major, we have measured in doing advertisement. Mm, okay. Many clients really, w- they know what they want, but they don't mm-hmm. know what they want. Mm-hmm. So yeah. the moment you get to juggle in between what they don't know and what they want, mm-hmm. you're in, on it. Mm-hmm. And that's the moment you'll start making your good money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's nice. Mm-hmm. And also there's stiff competition. 
based yes, in the sure. film industry and also the special the effect, effect yeah. makeup. Um, how do you deal with that, Nafta? Because uh, we we have really put our name out there. Mm -hmm. We have done the best projects. We have we have worked with a lot of companies. We have mm -hmm. collaborated with a lot of companies to mm -hmm. produce these products that we give out. Okay. The first thing is most mm -hmm. of the Kenyan artists that are producers mm -hmm. are very mean. Mm -hmm. They don't want. You can't get two, three companies coming up together to come to do a project. Mm -hmm. And we have really cut down that. Mm -hmm. For us, we really merge different companies. We come up together mm -hmm. to produce the best product. So that once the product gets out there, it really cuts across what it was to market. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow, that's nice. What about you, Daisy, in the special effect industry? Uh, frankly speaking, the special effect industry is not yet so really out there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not many people believe in us. Uh -huh. And not many people big producers believe that they are special effect artists. Mm -hmm. They only know we have makeup artists. Yeah. Yes, because my friend, our Kenyan girls can do their makeup. <laughs> yeah, they can, they can. <laughs> but they're not believing in us that uh -huh. we can do more than that eyebrow, more mm -hmm. than that shade of the eyeshadows or what. Mm -hmm. So I think it's, but currently it's picking up because yeah. I can say, I mentioned like, I've done a few movies and I'm so proud of myself mm -hmm. and my team mm -hmm. that one of the movies that we did mm -hmm. won the best, was in the, the Kalasha, feature, story. feature mm -hmm. stories in Kalasha. Wow. Yeah. wow. Where I was proud of that because at least... Please tell us which one. <laughs> <laughs> it was I, I got, I collaborated with the K University mm -hmm. to Students. do the Gigi. Wow. Yeah. The Gigi wow. film. Wow. So I did their makeups, I did uh -huh. their special effects and everything and... Uh -huh. It was fun, it was, mm -hmm. and winning was... That's even the girl power we are talking about. Yeah, <laughs> it's not about the eyebrows again. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah. And as I go back to you, Naftel, you yes. say that um, making the, the five minutes, no, the two minutes um, effect something of the motion yeah. can land you to get the 5,000 shillings. Yeah. But um, how, how, how are you making money? Other than that, how are you making ma money in it and marketing your work? You know, Marketing mm -hmm. should not be really an issue to mm -hmm. an artist. Mm -hmm. Because once you produce the best thing, it will always market you. Wow. Yeah. There's no need of you spending a lot of money, starting to market your projects. Just do the best project, deliver it, put it online. Mm -hmm. Customers will just stream in. Mm -hmm. The issue that we have here in Kenya is we only want to cut short. We don't want to do the right thing and mm -hmm. the right price. Mm -hmm. You get somebody is getting a job, he wants to, because of the cost of production and everything, he doesn't want to use money so that he can make money. Mm -hmm. And that's where we go wrong. Mm -hmm. And we don't want to invest in this, in this field. Yeah. Because it's yeah. very expensive, yeah. yes. Yeah, but sure. the moment you invest in it, mm -hmm. have the right equipment, have mm -hmm. the right people working under you, mm -hmm. have the right team, mm -hmm. give your team motivation, motivate your team. Mm -hmm. Because the moment you don't motivate your team, that's mm -hmm. the first failure that you're going to incur in this field. Mm -hmm. Because this field needs a lot of... You have to be with the team. The yeah. moment the team feels like they're making money for you, mm -hmm. that's the first place that you're going to lose. Mm -hmm. So the only thing that I can tell people is, let us be one thing. Let's, mm -hmm. let's come together and see what we can do. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is one of your works that you have done. Actually, uh -huh. the picture that has gone, mm -hmm. I was among the best students in multimedia university and wow. animation. I was being awarded by our, mm -hmm. by our chancellor. Wow, and this is what I nice. did for John Falme. Yeah. And uh, the whole thing about this thing, this is my CV. Mm -hmm. So this CV is trying to tell people mm -hmm. that uh, you can do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. That's great work over this, there. This I did for Border TV, this are motion graphics. Mm -hmm. This is actually the logo of the, the logo identity oh, for the yeah, TV. For the TV. Yeah. yeah. Wow, that's great work yeah. that you have done there. Let me get back to you, um, Daisy. Yeah. Since you've gone to school and now the, the dynamics of the job, do you plan to train people now that on the spatial effects makeup? Yes, I plan to do it and I've been doing it. Mm -hmm. And I'm also planning on a bigger platform to do it because I'm planning on December. I want to get some few youth mm -hmm. and people to come in and help get this youth to know what they, else they can do in life. Because people out there think it's waking up in the morning, mm -hmm. 
and maybe go to the salon or anything, but mm -hmm. it's not about that lady that on the sitting there at the salon waiting mm -hmm. for you to come and do your nails. Mm -hmm. This lady can do a mm, different thing. Something else. And then there are those people, because I want to major mostly on the young youth, mm -hmm. both mm -hmm. genders. Mm -hmm. There are those that have lost hope in life. Mm -hmm. Sure. So I want to major with them mostly mm -hmm. and give them a training of mm -hmm. a month mm -hmm. and let them go and explore the world. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's nice of you. And um, getting back to you, NAFTA, yes. not many film animation and, and motion graphics makers are aware of the importance of marketing and distribution. And also, um, you tend to find money and s someone tends not to, to, to get those funds yeah. to do your work. How sure. can you explain about that? Uh, the first thing that you must do is, mm -hmm. you know, I can't give you a guarantee that I will give you money if I'm not seeing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. First of all, try to come up with something. Mm -hmm. Just have a synopsis or a, a pilot mm -hmm. of what you want to do. Mm -hmm. The moment it's very impressive, mm -hmm. you will get donors who will come in and your work will be out there. Mm -hmm. But most of us want to come just have a story without anything and then you want money to be put in. And mm -hmm. that's what most of us are doing. Because mm -hmm. personally, I was a culprit of that. Mm -hmm. I wanted to start an animation studio. I've mm -hmm. done only one thing. I wanted to go all over and tell people that I can do this. But mm -hmm. people are asking me, mm -hmm. give two to three things that we can look at and see how we can invest in these projects. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. And what advice can you give to the entrepreneurs in this film industry? What I can tell them, mm -hmm. the, the film industry is very big. Mm -hmm. It's a very big cake that we haven't even eaten three-thirds of it. Mm -hmm. We have only taken like a quarter of it. Mm -hmm. Come so the big, big, great work a big to be portion done. Is the, the, mm -hmm. the big portion that we haven't touched anything. Mm -hmm. The thing is, let us creatives come together, mm -hmm. collaborate different companies here and there, mm -hmm. because different companies have different strengths. Mm -hmm. For okay. example, we can have a company that is very good in shooting and editing, but they mm -hmm. don't have graphics. Mm -hmm. So you have a film that is very plain that will not go anywhere. Mm -hmm. So if this company approaches us, I'm just giving an example, okay. we give them graphics on the, on the film, mm -hmm. it will be a very perfect film. Mm -hmm. So let different companies come together, collaborate mm -hmm. for bigger projects. Okay, okay, yeah. that's nice. Uh, and as I come to you, Daisy, as we close, um, where do you want to go next and what are you working on right now? And as you close on your final remarks. Um, I don't want to say that I want to go to Hollywood or what. Mm -hmm. I want to create my own Hollywood here. Here in Kenya. Yeah. That's what's Because that is my dream. And right now we're collaborating with a few people mm -hmm. and we're doing some Kenyan things. We want it to be strictly Kenyan touch. Mm. May it be graphics, may it be makeup, anything should be strictly Kenyan. Mm -hmm. And we also pushing to use the Kenyan product. Okay. We want to be a Kenyan touch. Mm -hmm. That is how we are going to bring our own Hollywood mm -hmm. here. Wow, that's yeah. awesome. Your social media platforms as we close. Uh, at Facebook, you're going to find me at Daisy Ashakare mm -hmm. or Daisy SFX. Mm -hmm. Then on Instagram at Kare Daisy. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's the only place you can find me, those two places. Awesome. What about mm. na you and Naftal? Well, just a show me went from Facebook or... Whatever you can start. We are located in Ruiru. Okay. Uh, spinners and Spinners. That's where Naftal Production is. In all social media platforms, you can follow us at Naftal's Productions. We call ourselves film, motion graphics, and animation gurus. Mm -hmm. Awesome, yeah. awesome. Yeah. That's nice, that's nice. Mm -hmm. So that's what we had for, prepared for you today. Um, the film industry, it's a little bit of the portion that is taken when we have a lot, a lot to do. And so as we come to a close, um, I want to give you a small quote that says, life is a succession of lessons which must be lived to be understood. So as you remember, to, keep, to be clean out there, wash your hands with warm water and soap um, and also sanitize yourself and wherever you are going. So my name is John Degua. Blessed night. God bless. <laughs>